Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. In this video, you will learn how to set a person in the open form by means of finite volume option. In this way, we consider a tunnel which uh, partially blocked by a person as we see here in this figure. And then we are gonna to see the flow state with a partial drop in this test case. If you want to uh, study the flow fluid in the approach media, I would suggest you to see this short video. The flow will come from the left, inlet model content will go out from the right. So uh, for this channel we have a ball on the top and since it is a uh, flow in the rectangular we have a symmetry plan at the middle of the channel. We consider a symmetry plan at the bottom as a bonded condition to reduce the composition time. As I mentioned here we focus on the post media setting and if you need further explanation you can refer to the previous tutorial about the flow float in a poisonly flow or rectangular channel. At the first we have to specify we have a post zone here. So I open the case directory and on the system I want to use topo set dict. I open it here. At the first we have to say we have a group of the cells that consists of the post media. We specify this one by the cell set type and then we say the cell sets include a cell zone with the name of the process so we have to do two action the first using the cell set and if we want to specify this the region of the post media we can use the box to cell and the info about to the box to cell we can introduce two point for this rectangular. I introduce this point is here at the left and bottom of the rectangular in the 20 millimeter far from the inlet and the second point at the 30 millimeter but on the top of the channel and on the here. It is the first point and this is the second point. Afterward, you have to say what do you want to do with this cell set. We are going to say we have this cell set that represent a post media cell zone. So we here we are going to convert the cell sets to a cell zone. We use the type of the cell zone set and set the source to set to cell zone. Uh, it means that we want to convert this cell set to a cell zone. And we introduce the cell set here as the source of this action. By the first one, we have specified the cells, the cells, and by second action, we just convert the cell set to a cell zone. Then we have a porous cell zone and also a channel zone that is without any porous media effect. The second thing that you have to introduce for a porous media is the properties of this porous media. I open the case directory again and in the constant directory. I introduce this file, the finite volume options that is very useful uh, library for simulation of the, especially for the post media. In the finite volume option file, we have the parsity one option, it is a name, and we set the explicit parsity source as the type of this option, and it is active for this cell zone since we want to see the effect of this post media. We set the selection mode and also the cell zone according to the something that we specified in the topo set we have here a cell zone with the name of the post cells so we set it here to cell zone and also we say the name of the cell zone is the post cells and the important thing that i have to mention it here we use the darcy fortimer it is a well-known model for the modeling of the post media and it in, it needs two parameters the first is the floor resistance and also the fortimer parameters it, in, it consider both the viscous and also inertia effect uh, in a post zone. Regarding a tutorial in the open form, you can find um, this valuable explanation for the specification of the D, the viscous resistance, and also it is inverse of the permeability of the post media. It is like a fully blocked zone, and uh, nevertheless, we can change it. Uh, for the for Darcy force humor, uh, we can change it the, the value of the d in the each direction for the d on the x, y, and z. But here I uh, set all of them with the same value for the each direction. And for the simplicity, we set the 
f the force in my parameter to the zero since we want to ignore the inertial effect in this simulation. The coordinate system also introduces it here with the origin and also the axis of the rotation if you have any rotation or if you have a 2D simulation I suggest you to introduce both of the direction in this uh, configuration as E1 and E2. So that's all for the specification of the function in the open form by means of finite value option. I open my terminal on the corresponding case here and the first of all I have to create the mesh by black mesh. Then if we want to use the configuration in topo set directory, I just use the topo set command. Then you can see here mesh doesn't change and we create the proof cell zooms at, as I mentioned here. So if I use a open form solver like simple form that includes a finite volume option, then it can consider that effect in the solver. It converts it at this time as you see and I open it the power form and I refresh the time for the U. I show the internal mesh on that. So you can see here the velocity field, velocity field of the fluid on that. As you see, since it is like a fully blocked porous media, uh, the fluid cannot go uh, goes through uh, this uh, porous media, and so it has to change its direction and comes here and the velocity of the fluid could be increased at this area. We can also change to the pressure and here we can see the pressure change in this channel. As we expected regarding the also the Darcy law, we have a large and significant pressure drop at the proof zoom as you see here. It seems logical but if you want to have a more logic and uh, more accurate modeling you can also extend the length of this channel. Uh, now I'm going to change the D in this post media uh, finite volume option. Uh, for example, we can decrease it to 500 and save this file. I run the simple form solver again and let's see. I use power form command to load the power view and see the difference between the present case and the previous one. I scale the geometry in the y direction by 10 and set it the contour plot to the y and the last time steps. As you see here, um, I rescale it. Yes, that's better. As you see here, again we have a person, but it is less effective. Maybe we can again increase it to maybe just e e3 is maybe better. No, e6. Yes, then. I close it again and run the simple form to see. Yes, and the power form. Yes, it can affect it more, but less than the previous case. As you see, we fluid can uh, go through, uh, through this person as you can see here but it cannot continue on the plus media and then it has to come to the free in free channel here and again we can see an increase in the velocity okay that's a simple test case for the setting the post media in the open form i hope that you enjoy from this video and if you have any question please feel free to ask me and also to access to the source for of this tutorial and other free tutorial, you can visit our website, Hyperdition website, and you can see other free tutorials about the open form or other CFD, uh, CFD tools. Or even you can find the tutorial about the plotting data by using NeoPlot package. Uh, all of them are free of the charge. And if you have any question or any suggestion regarding the, this video or this tutorial, if you need any tutorial, please let me know. And until the next video, goodbye.